Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for It's Panning Cats and Dogs. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Deb over at Deb B as well as Danny over at Danny's Makeup. Both here on YouTube and I will link their channels down below. A couple things, you've probably seen this look a couple of times now. I'm batch filming <laughs> because I'm a little behind and also my nails are atrocious. So just don't, just ignore them. Sorry. All right, moving on to this project. I actually have, I think, seven items that can roll out this month. I wasn't able to update this project last month because I was traveling. And yeah, it just, it was difficult to, it was one of the projects where I was like, it's just better for me to skip this update. So I have a lot of progress. Now, the first item that I can roll out, I have decluttered, but I did hit my goal on it. So that is for best of breed. Tell us about your pet, past, present. Doesn't have to be dog or cat, blah, blah, blah. So I chose Milo and brought in, cause he's got the long hair and I brought in the Verb Glossy Shine Spray with heat protectant. I rolled it in for 30 uses. I did hit that goal, but right towards the end, I was like, wait a minute, my hair doesn't feel right. Like it feels like it's, it just didn't feel right. And then I looked at the ingredients and that product has dimethicone in it which I don't know why I didn't look at it before. So I ended up using it the 30 times, but then decluttered it. So I don't have it with me. The next prompt I can roll out is Sharpay, a skincare product that combats wrinkles. Let's say hysterical prompt. So I rolled in the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Cream, and I did finish this guy. This is a full ounce of product. There's a ton in here. Again, I'm showing you the cap by stupid. <laughs> But I did get it done. I think the normal size of this is 1.7 ounces. So this is their quote deluxe size, but it's like the size of some full size moisturizers. It's a lot. So it took me a while to get through. That one's rolled out. Then for the prompt ID tags, a product that starts with the first letter of your name, which is C. I don't know if it's been a while since I've said this. My name is spelled C-E-Y-L-I-N, but it's pronounced with a J because it's Turkish. That's why it's Jalon and not Celan. Anyway, I rolled in the Clarins Total Eye Lift, and this is in my 100 Colorful Empties, and I did get this finished. It, it went traveling with me. It took me a long time to finish it. I had it in my bathroom here, and then I took it traveling, and it, just, it took forever. This has seven mils. So it's like half of a full size, the water product, but it's done. And I do, I do like that product. Next for Bichon Frise, which is a hypoallergenic dog, a clean makeup or skincare product. So I rolled in the Item Beauty Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. This is a deluxe size. I am actually still using this, but it's very close to being rolled out. It's kind of getting to the point where it's a little bit goopy. And I want, I'll probably use it another couple of days and then officially call it done, but it's pretty stinking close. I'm not minding this on the bottom lashes because of the small wand, but I don't like how mascara kind of collects here at the base. You can see right there. And then it kind of goops up on my lashes. I don't really remember it doing that when I first rolled this in. So I feel like as it's getting older, it's starting to do that. So I've had this in for, well, maybe I should roll it out because I've had it in for two months. I usually use something for three before I roll it out, but something small like this, I would probably do. Anyway, I'll use it a couple more times and then it'll be done. Next prompt is Rottweiler, a product you were scared of at first but fell in love with, and that is bronzing creams. So I have this NARS Laguna bronzing cream in the shade 01. So I rolled this in for 10 uses and I did hit that goal. I had pan in this before rolling it in. I freaking love this. This is a beautiful bronzer, beautiful. You can't see it on my, well, you can barely see it on my skin right now. because. Since I rolled this in, I have gone to the beach and gotten a tan. So when I first rolled it in, I did not have a tan at all. Anyway, this is rolling out. Next prompt is Pug, an item with cute packaging. So I rolled in this Perfumeria Gal Collection Vaseline like balm in the, in the, the vanilla scent. This is so cute. I love this packaging on all of these. And I rolled this balm in for, what, 20 uses? Yeah, 20 uses. I really do like this quite a bit. It's a lovely, lovely lip product. And I have like four or five of them. I picked these up whenever I was in Spain. I like scoured 
the drug stores to find that because I wanted it so bad. So anyway, I've used it the 20 times it can roll out. And then lastly, for the prompt Siamese, who have the loudest purrs, apparently, I think Ziggy's got a loud purr. Product that makes you purr with delight. And that is one of my favorite lip products. This is by L'Oreal. It's the Color Reach Shine in the shade Varnished Rosewood. I love this so much. I rolled it in for 10 uses. This is the second one I've had. I have already finished one. Ugh. Oh. Beautiful. Now for the items I am still working on. I have three, four, five, six, seven prompts I'm working on. Originally you were supposed to roll in five, but you know, I did, I did what I wanted to do. This one is close. This is for the prompt best of breed and this is for Ziggy. So I rolled in something for him that's dirty, dirty because he makes dirty biscuits naughty biscuits this is by nars it's the afterglow lip balm in the shade orgasm i roll this in for 20 uses i'm at 28 so, and i'm sorry 30 uses i'm at 28 so that is really close to hitting my goal on this one there's the shade there and this is how much is left i don't think i had roll i had started using this before this project so that is how much i've used so far with 30 uses so yeah i will definitely have this rolled out in a couple of days next prompt is munchkin cat who are childlike their entire lives something with childlike packaging so i rolled in this hand cream by etude house this was in the harp seal packaging anyway i have used some of it but it, there's still a ton in here hand creams like the bane of my existence right now. I have so many in projects. I've got to get cracking. In fact, last night I was editing my turn and burn where I was like, I need to get put a reminder on my phone that I need to have, you know, use my hand cream every day. And then at that point I stopped the video and I was like, I need to go grab a hand cream. And then I got distract distracted. Like I had a squirrel moment and then I could not remember what I had gotten up to get. And then, of course, I sat back down and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. And then I never went to go get it. FML. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Next prompt is balls or toys, something that always rolls away. So one of those are eyeliner pencils. I rolled in this Doucet eyeliner in the shade blue. And I actually do have this in my waterline right now mixed with black. I rolled this in for 10 uses. I'm up to seven. I had five uses last month. I actually sharpened this today and then the tip broke off, so I had to sharpen it again. You know, it doesn't go on as bright, bright this bright in my waterline, so that's why I mixed it with the black. I also felt like it looked better mixed with black with this eye look, this green eye look. So anyway, three uses to go on that. I definitely wanna roll that out before the next update. Then for the prompt cats, a product you are so tired of, you wish a cat would knock it off the counter. <laughs> I wish a cat would knock this over the counter, off the counter, and then break it, because then I could throw it away. <sighs> I have so many of these. Buxom Full-On Lip Polish. And this is in the shade Dominique. I mean, this is so easy to use, and I don't want to. I need, I have, I wanted to use this 10 times. I had two uses last time I updated this. I am now up to six, so four to go. I actually had this pulled out the other day. You know what? Why not? There we go. Now we're up to seven uses. I had this pulled out last night to use, but then I was working on some like bright, like balmy lip products that I need to get some uses on and then forgot to use this one. But anyway, up to eight, two uses to go. It's gonna, wait, now is that right? Up to seven, three uses to go. It's gonna happen. Next prompt is boxer, an item still in the box or packaging. I rolled in the Petite Fee Golden Snail Hydrogel Eye Patches. I love these. These are fabulous. If you ever see these at TJ Maxx and want to try some eye patches or like eye patches, I give them the stamp of approval. These are really good. I'm quite enjoying them. My only beef with them is they don't have like a, a something to contain the product in the packaging, but they do give you one of these, but these are great. Here is where I am. I will definitely have these finished before the next update. I really do like these a lot. I've said that multiple times now. 
So these will be out before the next update. Next prompt is tuna, a food themed item in name, packaging, etc. I rolled in the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. I rolled this in for 10 uses and I just did that in June. I'm up to four. So I am wearing this today mixed with a little of a brighter pink blush. Okay. Tell me your thoughts. Do you guys see those bumps in there? Like, do you keep blushes that have that? This one seems excessive. I mean, the blush still performs perfectly fine. It doesn't smell funky. It doesn't smell any more like peach. There's the shade there. I don't know. I feel like it's fine, but I don't know what everyone else thinks. Anyway, I have, like I said, six uses to go on this. I was working on a very similar like in shade in this color blush from the balm and I wanted to get the, my uses on that first because it was in a project prior to this one so this will be like my peachy blush moving forward and I have six uses to go next prompt and last prompt that I'm working on is pitbull a product or brand that you like or love but it has a bad reputation or negative reviews so this is by lime crime this is their lipstick in the shade choker and I have one use on this. I want to use this 10 times. Why? This is such a pretty color. It's a darker shade. It's just not for right now. You know, it's not a fall. It's not fall right now, at least here. Because like I've said in a couple of videos, it's 106 degrees. Mm. So yeah, but this would be a good mixer. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. I just have so many little products and projects right now. That's the seven prompts I'm still working on. I'm going to go ahead and roll in. I'm going to go ahead and roll in a few more prompts. This will be the last time I roll prompts in because the next update will be the penultimate update before the finale. And I, it's hard for me to roll things in at the very last update in order to get some progress on them before the finale. So we're gonna roll in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and roll in the same number of prompts that I rolled out, which is seven, which is a lot. I'm probably crazy, but we'll see. I may put like lower usage goals on them. We'll see. I may regret this decision. This may bite me in the butt. Anyway, seven prompts. Seven. Let's see what we get. Catnip, an item that makes you lose your mind. Whoops. Number two. Ragdoll, known for their blue eyes and you're to roll in a brew, blue, <laughs> Blue product, name, product, packaging, etc. All right. Number three Persian cat, who's the royalty of cat breeds, a product that makes you feel like royalty. Number four <laughs> This prompt is funny. Chihuahua, a product the beauty community won't stop yapping about. I've kind of been out of the loop, but is this number five? Shih Tzu Maltese, something small that has a big impact, like a pigment or a highlighter, etc. Number six. Cat Tree, an item with asymmetrical packaging or stackable product. And then number seven, seven, long haired cat. What did Nadia do that one? No, I did that for Milo. Your favorite hair product. Okay, awesome. I'm going to pull products for these. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have my seven items. So to start with for the prompt catnip, an item that makes you lose your mind, I'm pulling in an indie eyeshadow. This is by the Glam Shop. And I think this is a shade indie. I could be wrong. It's one of these beautiful flakies. Wait till you see this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gorgeous. So I'm rolling that one in for 10 uses. Then for the prompt ragdoll, who are known for their blue eyes, you're to roll in a blue product and packaging color, etc. So I'm rolling in this deluxe size of the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Salt Life. I have this mini and I also have a full size. So I wanna start working on this guy. This is my favorite color by Tarte. I love it. <laughs> so rolling this one in for 10 uses. 
Then for the prompt, Persian Cat, who is the royalty of cat breeds, bring in a product that makes you feel like royalty. I'm rolling in another indie shadow. This is by Cleona. This is the shade Royalty. It is her glitter type vibrant multi-chrome. I was like purple is royalty. And then of course the name is perfect. It's noble and this is beautiful. So again, rolling that one also in for 10 uses. Then for Chihuahua, a product the beauty community won't stop yapping about. Well, I don't, I don't really keep up with that stuff very much. I don't know. This I think people talk about. I'm going to bring in another version of this NARS bronzing cream. I have this in Laguna 1, which is the one I worked on before, and I'm going to roll in Laguna 2 because this is definitely a color more suited for me right now. So I was like, oh, I might as well roll this in for 10 uses and get some progress on it. So here is the shade there. And there's the product I think I showed it to you. So of course I definitely use this less often than the Laguna one. Laguna one is beautiful. So anyway, rolling this one in for 10 uses. I don't think I'll have a problem hitting that goal at all. The next prompt is Shih Tzu Maltese. Something small that has a big impact. I decided to go with this, this like small blush from Clinique. I love these and I never roll them in projects and I have several of them. This is the Cheek Pop blush in the shade Berry Pop, and I picked the bright pink one because it's high impact. So as you can see, woo, it's bright. There we go. So we're gonna roll this one in for 10 uses. Next prompt is Cat Tree, an item with asymmetrical packaging or a stackable product. I went with stackable. I really couldn't find a lot that was asymmetrical in my collection. One was a lip product and I was like, I did not need any more lip products. So I'm going to roll on the stackable eyeshadow trio by Kaja. This is the shade Hella Azalea. And there are three shades in here, of course. So there's this shimmery pink. Then there is this beautiful, I don't know, corally pink shade. And then this beautiful purple shade. So let me go ahead and swatch these. I have, I think I have some room at the top here. All right, there are the three shades. I can totally see myself using this shade like bananas. That's beautiful. Anyway, I wanna use this, this trio five times. It doesn't matter if I use one shade or all three shades when I use it. I just wanna get five uses on this guy. And then the last prompt is Long Haired Cat, which is your favorite hair care product. So I'm rolling in this Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard, which is my the gel that I use for my curls. I love this. I love this so much. I go through it as like faster than I think I would. I actually am going to be purchasing another one of these fairly soon because I need to buy some replacements for like my co-wash and a couple other things. So I'm going to place an order for this because I love this so much. Anyway, I'm rolling this one into this project to finish. I think I'll have this done before the next update. So yeah, it's amazing. I love it. So anyway, that's everything I'm rolling in. Now, I had how many prompts that I didn't get to? There are six prompts I didn't get to. So if by a miracle, I roll out a crap ton of these next month, I may roll the six in, you know, with something like a really small number of usage goals, like two or three, so that I can roll in all the prompts but I'm not gonna roll something in for 10 uses in a month's time because I know it's not gonna happen. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying yes. <laughs> anyway, that is gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Next prompt is bug an item with cute, no, not bug. <laughs> that is a not, not a kind of dog. Then from the, I need to fix my camera. Then from the, pro <laughs> I have to also get like a couple of other, just like sh curl wash. No, I have to get a, so hi, you came up here because you were jealous. He was, this is what he does. He's like, huh. what about me? What about me, mom? What about me? What about me? Don't
be mad. Don't be mad. Hi. He does not like this. <laughs> He's tolerating me. You done? Okay. Okay, bye.